Hey everybody, I have another unboxing video for you here, and this time it is the clean version of Knifehead, which is a Toys R Us exclusive. So, here is a look at the front of the box. Here's one side of the box. Here's the back, where they show the deluxe axe head there. And then you have the other side of the box. So we'll look at the bottom of the box. Go ahead and drop it. And here is the top of the box with a nice see-through window. And it's looking like the box is just a simple open flap here with no tape at all. No, there is some tape here. Tape off to the side. Right there. Yes, it is taped on both sides at the top. So you can go ahead and open it up. And the knife head just slides out. And this box is huge box is huge. And you have twist ties here on the back, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of those. And for reference, you have five twist ties on this guy. You have one right up here at the top, one here, one here, and then two to the sides. And flipping it around, that would be one around the actual knife portion of the head, one around the neck, one around the main body, and then you have two by the arms and the legs. So go ahead and pull these through then. And then once you got them all pulled, slide knife head right out of the box like so and I just want to do a quick overview of the figure here because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get the full-fledged review up so quick rundown so as you can see the battle damage paint on this one is gone entirely you have the blue wash which is still on this figure which is nice it's actually turned up on this one compared to the battle damage one and the articulation it's basically the same except for the joint for the neck and you have much, much greater range of movement there. Twists and turns, yada, yada, yada. So as you can see there, like I said, all the other joints are the same. You get all the balls, all the swivel hinges, ball hinges, whatever you want to call them. Pretty much everything's the same. The bendy wire shell on the back features um, that same brown wash, but on mine it's more so to the right than it is to the left. And yeah. That's pretty much it for the Toys R Us knife head. Uh, full review, like I said, will be up later. I'm not sure when I will have the time to do that. But I just want to end this with a size comparison for you folks who are on the edge of whether or not you should get it. You're thinking, man, I should get it. Maybe I shouldn't. But anyway, here is the battle damage knife head. Get those both in frame for you there. And then here is the Series 1 Gypsy Danger right here. So you can see how well they go together. So yeah, alrighty, a full review. Like I said, I've repeated, I don't even know how many times it'll be up in about maybe a week. I'm thinking sometime next week I'll be able to get the review up because I got to get the Godzilla Mini Mates review done. I got to get those first and I got grad school applications. So yay me. All right, catch you next video.